Welcome back to the friendly confines of Phil Welch Stadium here in beautiful St. Joseph, Missouri, home of your St. Joseph Mustangs. We got 4th of July action tonight between the St. Joseph Mustangs and the Sedalia Bombers. Tyler Rundo alongside Charlie Marshall and Charlie. Bombers come to town. What do we expect? Well, the Bombers 12 and 14 on the year. They're fifth place in the Meek League. You know, they're a hit or miss team. They have players in this lineup that can rival any player in the Mustangs lineup. But at the same time, they also have guys that kind of slack, and that's why they're standing on a record two games under 500. And they also been struggling as of late. If you remember two weeks ago, the Bombers pushed up to second place, and then the Clorinda A's went on a fantastic run. And then all of a sudden, it's dropped like seven to the last ten. So the Bombers really plummeting in the standings. They also got a tough task today against Denton Biller. What does Biller need to do in order to be successful here tonight, Charlie? Well, Biller needs to do nothing else than what he's done all year. Denton Biller coming in tonight has just straight carved through every lineup he's faced. He's coming with 17 in the third innings pitch, an ERA standing at 1.56 with a strikeout per nine at 13. Denton Biller has maybe given me my most fun start I've seen so far this year. He's electric on the mound. He needs to just lead with a fastball. It's dominant. It's fast, most importantly. And then you just go to the breaking balls when you're ahead in the count. You know, that's how he pitches, and that's what he needs to do tonight. And he, he should have no issues with so many fastballs already. Well, he saw that one really well as he's going to take it for strike three. And from Gavin Killian is the 24 to 2 strikeout to walk ratio. So he doesn't have the highest strikeout percentage by any means. He's struck out 24 and 28. But walking two guys in 28 innings is absurd. This lineup all year. He's spinning. There that goes McCollum. Ball. That one grounded. Toward the 5-6 hole, coming up with his Tanner Grant. And an awkward stretch, but he's going to stay in the bag as Nathan Huey. Almost better than what he might be seeing in the Mink League. So it's really surprising to see how much he's struggling right now. That's going to be a line drive single past Sam Pauly. Really well, and then seasons are going to do really bad. Even if you're a great player, you're still going to have a couple seasons where you might struggle. That one grounded to Sam Pauly. He's going to go to Ryan Raton for one. And back to Nathan Huey for two. Swung on his return, going back on it is Freeman. Lays out and can't make the play. McCullum gonna go grab it. And the runners will stay in scoring position. It'll be second and third. One, two. That one grounded up the middle. Mason Holton moving to his left. Gets it on a hop. And a good play for Mason Holton, but an RBI ground out for Sam Russo. Here's the one out of Tanner Grant. That one lined. Battling the sun is Trevor McCullum. But he's gonna ring in that play going back into his left, not before the Sedalia Bombers strike first. And he came around to score the go-ahead run. He's gonna strike out there as Gavin Killian has his first punch out of the evening. Another full count offering. And it's gonna be the second time Nathan Huey has gone down looking. Denton Biller's third K of the evening. Let's see if Biller has it. He does have it. Breaking ball swung on a miss from Chris Miller. Things will figure him out. No, I mean, it's Really, <laughs> that one hit out to right field. Connor Rice, who's playing towards center field, has a long run, but makes a nice play. Crashes into the fence. Biller obviously gave a one run. That ball hit pretty well by Jeter Mose. Going back on it is Sam Russo. And it's out of here. Jeter Mose ties up this ball game with a blast to left field. Mose got all of that one. Hit off the second wall out there. Passed almost the light pole. Absolutely crushed. Squares away again. Biller with a fastball. This one bunted to the first base side. Biller going to have to make a play, and he does. Going to third is Sam Polly. A smart play because Jordan Black crashed, and there was no one covering third. Yeah, Mason Holton went to second base. In this kind of situation, he needs to be sliding to third base. If you're going to get the out at first, and, you're, and your first baseman is staying home, then Holton needs to go to third. If your first baseman crashes, then that's when Holton would go to second base. But just miscommunication from the entire Mustangs infield, and it makes Holton look great for third. Now when it out to center field, going back on it is McCullum. It's going to stay in the yard, but it's going to be two to one Bombers after a sack fly for the leadoff man Sam Russo. His second RBI. Well the night. located pitch, and not something I would have offered at either at three one. Black going to lift this one out to center field. Getting the cap. And it's going to get down. Black looking for two. Shrack going to go to third. Plays at second. 
and Jordan Black slides in safely. A double for the Johnson County Community College product, and the Mustangs have runners at second and third, and no out for Jaden Little. Your pitcher's been pitching very well. Although I don't think the infield didn't want to matter. It's Jaden Little with an RBI single. Carson Schrack going to come in to score. Jordan Black staying at third. So runners at the corners after the RBI single from Jaden Little. That pitch from Bruce hit pretty well out to center field. Going back on it is Chris Miller. He gets to the track and makes a play. But it'll be a sacrifice fly for Easton Bruce. And the Mustangs have a lead 3-2. He gives the Mustangs the lead. That one for Freeman grounded to the right side and past a diving Ryan Raton. Jaden Little going to third. Freeman going to look to second after the throw gets away from Sam Pauly. So a single from Darius Freeman and some defensive mishaps. And all of a sudden Mason Holton comes up with two guys and runners in scoring position. Both runners would be earned, shall they score. Mason Holton. Easton Bruce like hits a fly ball to the outfield. Tagging is Jaden Little, and he's going to come in to score. So the Mustangs now lead 4-2 to two after scoring three here in the bottom of the Pitchers fifth. Aiming away from a guy like McCollum, they're going to take it to the opposite field. Well, a good pitch is going to get Gavin Killian out of there. Here's the 1-2 offering. Fastball called strike three, and Jace Johnson works out of it. How nice would it be to see Carson Schrack get his third hit of the ball game right here? Guy, like you mentioned, struggling a little bit more than we thought he would. And there's his third hit of the ball game, just like Charlie mentioned. Set that up perfectly. That one popped Jaden Little and Dom Felix. But Dom Felix with a sliding catch. Not very often to see the catcher move that far from his position, but catches it on the warning track. I think this is the biggest crowd we've had all year, Charlie. Yeah, it is packed. Breaking ball sets Easton Bruce down. So back-to-back -back Ks in the third K in a row for Sean Burroughs going back to last year. Here's the McPherson College product. Going to get him on a breaking ball called strike three. Rung up by the home plate umpire is Connor Rice. Breaking ball shot through the 5-6 hole, laying out and not making the play is Tanner Grant. Mason Holton being waved home. Throw comes from left field, and Mason Holton is in there standing. 3,500 tonight. Over 4,000 people. It's going to be a fair ball. Wow, what how a does, spoil the moment right there. How does that work? You guys could, I don't know if you could see uh, greatly, but that ball was completely foul. It was in the grass in foul territory, and then somehow just the spin on the ball shot it fair, so it's a bunt single. The late innings to get the Mustangs, and you're down. It's always pretty bleak. Although, they're going to get to Teixeira here. Sam Pauly hits a RBI single to center field, and that makes the lead slim down to five to share. can make up for all of it if he can get the taco hitter. He's not going to, though, as there's another single, the third of the inning, and Tim Teixeira, who's been lights out, getting roughed up a bit here in the top of the ninth. Now to Tanner Grant. Both runners go. This one's grounded to third. A intentional, unintentional hit and run, and the Bombers are going to cut the lead down to five to four. Felix. Crowd of over 4,000. On their feet. Strike three called Tim Teixeira with a little bit of trouble, but closes the door for the Mustangs as on July 4th, they win it 5-4 to four over the Sedalia Bombers. How about it, Tim Teixeira? A little interesting, but he gets the job done. The Mustang fans are going home happy.